Bienvenidos a todos a la última reunión de la Junta del Gobierno del Condado de Arles. Muchas gracias por estar aquí presentes. Thank you for taking time out of your busy days, your busy lives, to join us today this evening. Uh, first, 2008, I did announce my uh, new prime agenda for progress focused on three things health, affordable housing, and inclusion. But just before I described my initiative, I also spoke about the importance of paying attention to the basics of good governance, providing good service, economic sustainability, and excellent value to all of our taxpayers in our community. Today, we understand even more than a year ago how important it is to pay attention to the basics. Our nation is in the midst of an economic crisis caused by the collapse of the housing market and subsequent crisis in the financial market. The likes of which many of us have never seen before. There is rapidly escalating federal debt and a colossal failure on the part of the federal government to deal with not only the first two crises I mentioned, but also health care and immigration. In Virginia, the state legislature has failed once again to deal with the transportation crisis that threatens to undermine an otherwise enviable economic picture that we have been enjoying in our Commonwealth here in Virginia. These national and state issues ultimately trickle down to local government, where we do not have the luxury to look the other way. For us, at the level of local government, our actions, our choices, affect people every day. Ladies and gentlemen, as our nation copes with what increasingly looks to be a deep and painful recession, Arlington is well positioned to weather the storm. The state of the county in Arlington continues to be outstanding, especially when compared with others in the region and nationally. We have made significant progress this year on energy conservation and environmental sustainability, and on promoting diversity in our community and a culture of fitness. As we look to the future, we must continue to pay attention to these core functions of successful government. There is one person that merits being thanked particularly, and that is our colleague, Chris Zimmerman, for his leadership on transportation and infrastructure issues. He is a regional and national leader in these matters, and we are so fortunate to have him here in Arlington County. Let's give Mr. Zimmerman. <laughs> As we look to strategic infrastructure investments in the future, I would like to thank my colleague, Mary Hines, for her efforts in coordination with all board members to better define our capital needs and priorities for the future. Let's give Ms. Hines. I want to thank my colleague, Jay Cassette, for his continued leadership on environmental issues locally, regionally, and yes, nationally. Mr. Fassett has urged us to do more here locally, and he is encouraging others around our Commonwealth as well. As president of the Virginia Municipal League this year, he launched a successful environmental initiative that was modeled in part on our own Fresh Air Initiative. Join me, please, in giving Mr. Fassett. subject of affordable housing. We added 163 committed affordable units, including 151 rental units. This raised the total number of rental committed affordable units to 6,001, or 14% of the county's multifamily rental stock. These are, these are units that are committed to be affordable for at least 30 years. While this is a significant accomplishment, we indeed still need to do even more. And affordable housing will continue to be a very high county priority for many years to come. Affordable housing projects approved in 2008 by the Arlington County Board include the Arlington Mill, Jordan Manor, and the Buckingham Village projects. Also this year, the County Board voted to allow accessory dwellings in single-family detached homes following an extensive community process that included 
58 community meetings throughout Arlington County. I thank my colleagues and our current vice chairman, Barbara Farola, for a continued devoted support for affordable housing. In so many ways, Ms. Farola is an effective, articulate champion for the most vulnerable among us. Let's give praise to my colleagues. Thank you. 